What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, last night, I made a video regarding Edislandi Laura pulling the Kanye West, jumping on stage, stating his piece and pleading his case for why Canelo should fight him. Now, I never said Canelo was ducking. All I simply said is you can't allow that. You can't, on the night of your victory over Angulo, allow another grown-ass man to upstage you. And some people are defending, and I want to explore this in a part two. I had to make a follow-up to this, and I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been a little bit under the weather, so I've been a little bit low-key, and perhaps I had a different approach, but I'm drugged up, did the Heath Ledger, rest in peace Heath Ledger, and you know what I mean? I took some Dayquil and shit. Now, maybe I should try a different approach. The problem with boxing is some of you motherfuckers as fans and that's straight the fuck up you guys as fans are by far some of the laziest fucking insecure bullshit as fans ever and the reason i say that is because you guys have so many double standards now this is not for everyone so if you hit the dislike it's probably because it offends you because you're the person i'm talking about now edislandi laura again a person who's been calling out Canelo for years wants to fight. He even offered to move up to fight Gennady Golovkin, a difficult fight to make based on the Cold War. So even Triple G has somewhat of a scapegoat for not fighting him. Even though if Triple G is saying he's the most feared man in the sport, the most avoided man, fucking fight the dude. He's calling you out in public. And it'd be a whole hell of a lot better than Andy Lee. Somebody who got the shit beat out of him as the rounds progressed by Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. So I personally would rather see Gennady Golovkin face someone who's technically gifted, who is going to be more of a puzzle than a person who is tall, has been stopped in recent memory by someone who has lesser boxing intangibles in terms of like skill set and le far less amateur experience Chavez Jr. doesn't have an amateur background and pedigree like Gennady Golovkin but without getting too far off track at the very least Gennady Golovkin can use this Cold War bullshit as a scapegoat as to why he's not fighting Edis Lundy Laura even though I think it's a much better fight than Ishida or Andy Lee or something like that Canelo no fucking excuse you're in the same division you're with the same promotional vehicle, Golden Boy. He's calling you out in public. He's had enough um, co-headlining events. He fought Edislandi Laura, or Edislandi Laura fought Austin Trout and looked spectacular. Beat Trout in a better fashion than Canelo did and didn't take rounds off. Because um, if you watch the Edislandi Laura fight first, Trout, as the championship rounds went, that's when he got the, I think in the 11th round, he knocked Trout down versus Canelo with the open scoring whatever he was fatigued or he knew he had to fight in the bag because he was up by a wide margin he he kind of faded towards the stretch so overall Edislandi Laura disposed of Trout better just like Canelo disposed of Angulo with less trouble and with less problems than Edislandi Laura did so styles make fights it's a good fight and the problem is some of you guys as fans again the double standards you guys are making excuses. I have no problem with Canelo. A couple years ago, I would have clearly said Edislandi Laura, but now this could be a good fight. Edislandi Laura, great boxer, technically sound, great lateral movement, comes from the Cuban school of boxing, but he might be chinny. And Canelo lost to Mayweather, which is a style similar to an Edislandi Laura, someone who thinks, someone who's not just a come forward brawler and just going to swing for the fences. He's going to have more or less calculated punches and some of you guys are making excuses for why canelo shouldn't fucking fight the dude and because of you fans like you boxing is not the fucking same now i know in the past we haven't always got the fights we wanted riddick bow versus lennox lewis that's a fight we wanted we didn't get mike tyson versus lennox lewis when we wanted it um a, a rematch with uh like a james tony and roy jones jr we never really got that rematch even though fans wanted that there's a couple fights eric morales versus juan Ma uh juan marquez we never got that 
there's a couple fights like that that we never got. Pacquiao versus Edwin Valaro. But not for the same reason. And the funny thing is, Pacquiao versus Edwin Valaro, I would have loved to see that. If you ask the fans of boxing back then, I can't imagine many fans saying, no, I don't want to see Pacquiao because Edwin Valaro doesn't speak English and he's not a household name, so Pacquiao shouldn't fight him. Pacquiao is an aggressive fighter with angles, speed, and power. Edwin Valaro was a knockout artist with brute force and power, and he was tough and he had a chin. So let's fucking see it. It's a good stylistic matchup, and it could have went either way. Nowadays, fast forward to the future, you got like guys on Twitter who talk shit with no intentions of fighting. You got fans who are making excuses for why fighter A shouldn't fight fighter B. You guys act like you work for Golden Boy, like you work for Top Rank, and this is coming out of your paycheck. Like, oh, Edis Lonnie Laura doesn't make fight, uh, make money or whatever. Since when did we become fucking pansies and pussies in the sport of boxing where we, the fan, request fights based on how much money it makes? If Edis Lonnie and Laura versus Canelo turns out to make $25, that doesn't affect my bank account at all. And majority of you that leave comments on these videos, it won't affect you at all. You stand nothing to lose. You don't work for Showtime. You don't work for HBO. You don't work for Top Rank, Golden Boy, Main Events. You don't work for K2. So realistically, despite whatever numbers you think it might do or it might be lackluster, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't hurt you. And it's a fight that needs to happen. So we're so far removed from fights that the best fighting the best and fights being made based on principle and, and earning and worth that people, fans who call themselves fans, say they don't want to see a fight. Because it doesn't make business sense. That's stupid. Like, Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather need to fight. They're welterweights that have been around, hung lo around long enough. They've been in the pro rankings over 16 years, both of them. Um, it's a fight that needs to happen, especially if Pacquiao gets Bradley in the rematch. It needs to happen. And I don't understand why fans make excuses for these fights not happening like it's some cool shit. Fuck what it will gross and... And how much money it makes. If it makes sense, is it the best fighting the best? Is it the two people who think they're the best at 154 fighting that have looked good in recent memory? Yes. Edis Londi Laura, he beat Angulo. He's fighting Ishe Smith. And some people are trying to clown Edis Londi Laura saying, oh, he's fighting Ishe Smith. Who the fuck is he supposed to fight? The Charlo brother had a chance to get a title, but his fight was canceled. And it looks like Carlos Molina is a pedophile or to catch a predator T-cap. Um, possibly going to jail. Can't fight him. James Kirkland. He's with SMS Promotions. I haven't really heard much since the Glenn Tapia fight. That's a possibility. So, Edislandi Laura can't avenge that loss. Um, Victor Ortiz just got knocked out in the second round. So, as far as him moving up to 54, doesn't look good. They also talked about Andre Berto moving up to 54 to fight Canelo way back when. He got knocked out his last fight against Soto Carras. Um, who the fuck do you want to see Ennis Lundy Laura fight? If it's not Canelo, and it's not James Kirkland, and it's not Ishe Smith, who do you want to see him fight? K-9 Bundridge, someone who lost to Ishe Smith, who looked horrible against Carlos Molina, who is now possibly in or out of jail. And... I haven't seen K-9 Bundred fight in quite some time. No problems with the dude, but he's like 40 years old. Doesn't have a belt. Like, what fight do you want to see at 54? Fuck all these fights with Gennady Golovkin and people who say they can make 54, but we haven't seen him fight at 54. Like, Sergio Martinez said he can come down to 54, but we haven't seen him in years at 54. We haven't seen Gennady Golovkin as a pro at 54. What's the point? I'm talking about people who actually have fought. You got the Charlo brothers. You have Gabe Rosado, who just lost. Um, at he lost to the Charlo brother. What fight? Who do you want to see Edis Lundy Laura fight? Some people were clowning the Ishe Smith. Who can he fight? He's been calling out Gennady Golovkin. That's a no go. He called out Canelo, and some people are praising Canelo for basically trying to sweep him under the rug and and make a mockery or joke about him. And like, oh, Edis Lundy Laura looked dumb hopping on the stage. No, actually, Canelo looks dumb. Fuck a joke. Canelo looks dumb 
because you got a guy who's been banging on your front door and you won't answer for whatever reason. And I have no problem with Canelo. If you watch my recent videos, I gave props to Canelo where I feel he deserves it. But why are we so far removed from the best fighting the best? People are all... I do a video about Adrian Broner versus Amir Khan. That fight makes no fucking sense. Like, if you really analyze it, that fight doesn't make that much sense. It makes sense from a fan-friendly, they both talk shit, it'll be entertaining and a good stylistic matchup. But Amir Khan wants a Floyd Mayweather fight. Beating Broner doesn't mean shit because Broner just got massacred by Marcos Maidana and hasn't looked spectacular at welterweight. So we don't even know if he's a true welterweight. Yet we as fans will push for these fights Yet, another fight, we don't want to see it because it won't sell. Like, that that's some chicken shit, man. That just sounds horrific that we push for fights that they could be entertaining. If you watch the eye test, Adrian Broner, Amir Khan, I told you in my video, I'm down to see that and I would push for that fight. I want to see that. However, me being a well-rounded boxing fan, I still want to see the matches that make sense. Pacquiao, Mayweather, Edis Lani Laura, Canelo. There's other good fights that make sense. Gary Russell Jr. versus fucking somebody. Lomachenko, Nonito, somebody with the name. These are fights I want to see because they make sense. I don't care if Gary Russell Jr. can't draw flies to shit. I don't care what the salaries are. I care that it's a good matchup and it's the best fighting the best. But some of you fans don't feel the same way, which leads me to believe that you're not true, true boxing fans. If you're... If you're not on board with Ed Islani Laura because you think it's going to be boring, it sounds like you're afraid. You're afraid that the fighter you feel will will win is Ed Islani Laura. Other than, other than that, then why wouldn't you want to see that? Like, I like Mayweather and I like Pacquiao. I don't give a fuck who. Like, I don't care if they fight because the best may the best man win at the end of the day. So it doesn't phase me. It's not if Mayweather gets knocked out, doesn't hurt me. If Pacquiao gets knocked out, doesn't hurt me. And it's the best fight and the best, or the so-called best, or the people who say they're the best. So, I I don't know, man. I, I Some of you guys, I'm just at a loss for words with some of you quote-unquote fans who are saying, this is cool that Canelo possibly doesn't fight Edislani Laura. Fuck Styles, fuck who draws the most money. He's banging on your front door. You have to answer. Point blank. And... The promotional companies gas some of you fans and start telling you that Miguel Cotto versus Canelo is the fight to be made. Miguel Cotto has not really looked spectacular at 54. Name one fight where he looked spectacular. In the Cotto rematch, he looked good, he looked sharp, but he looked like he was starting to fatigue. And it looked like it could be a repeat of what happened in the first fight. But thanks to Manny Pacquiao, Margarito's eye was fucked up. And Cotto just put the nail in the coffin. But that a lot of that was from Manny Pacquiao, the damage he did to Margarito's eye and in their fight. And I think that actually helped Cotto because as it looked like he was fading towards a stretch and it could possibly be a fatiguing Cotto that could um, we could have seen a repeat of what happened in their first fight, like maybe a late stoppage or Margarito endured the early storm and, you know, what I mean, brought it. Cotto was able to win because Margarito's eye and the fight was stopped. He had a good fight with Mayweather, who's not a, a true 154-pounder, and he convincingly lost that fight. He, Yorgi, I mean, who who is Cotto beat at 54 that, that makes him exceptional? Like, at 54. Cotto's a hell of a fighter, one of my favorite, one of my all-time favorites. But what has Cotto done? Again, for me, Canelo needs to fight James Kirkland. Edislani Laura is the number one choice because he's been calling out Canelo for quite some time. And there's only so long you can avoid. You know what I'm saying? That's like some of you guys walking with your girl from the movies. You know what I'm saying? You're walking back to the car and somebody yells out, yo, yo, bitch got a fat ass. And you just keep walking and they keep taunting you. And they're like, damn, she got ass. The dude she's with is a sucker. I mean, how long are you going to endure that? You're going to keep walking, babe. Come on. That's kind of what Canelo's doing. You know, come on, keep up. Babe, let's just get in the car. Like, I mean, that just makes you look scary. And that's all I got to say, man. 
Ed is Lonnie Laura versus Canelo needs to fight. There's no reason that people should be trying to downplay this at all.